We um, just got out of a meeting with Brightline, uh, and we were talking with them about the quiet zones, obviously. There are a couple of things I want to make clear up front. First of all, um, Brightline and all railroads have uh, ultimate authority within their right-of-ways. So the city does not permit them, the city does not regulate them, the city does not control them. They have ultimate right-of-way, right, ultimate um, decision-making within their right-of-way. So when they built their station, they didn't need a permit to build their station. They could build their station. Now, they worked with us cooperatively, but the, but the city does not regulate them. I just want to make that really clear. Um, we told them how unhappy we were about the fact that the um, uh, quiet zones were not up and ready when the train was ready. It was my understanding all along that when the train started, the quiet zones would be in place. They are not. There are a total of 11 crossings in West Palm Beach. Six of those crossings are in pretty much ready to go. There are five that yet have to have um, the uh, uh, the quiet zone implementation, you know, the bars and everything that they need to make them quiet zones. Um, <clears throat> they have told us that by March 26th, all of the quiet zone crossings in Palm Beach County will be completed. So that's from 15th Street down to through Boca. By March 26, all of the crossings in Palm Beach County will be completed. Then it will take another 21 days for each of the municipalities to certify um, that uh, uh, quiet zone. And that's a process that you have to go through. It has to be open for 21 days for comment, um, and it's, it's 21 days. Now, what we have asked them, first of all, that's a much better date than we were originally told. But what we have asked them is to work from north to south, and they have agreed to work from north to south, so they will start at 15th Street to finish those five uh, crossings that have to be completed, which means that the 11 crossings in West Palm Beach will probably be done before March 26th. They're going to give us a date next week when they project that the 11 crossings just in West Palm Beach will be completed. Um, we have also told them that we will require an update report every 15 days on their progress. Uh, they have agreed to do that. And um, we will continue to work with them on making sure that this gets done. So I think the um, bright spot in this is that all of Palm Beach County will be done by March 26th then the certification process has to occur and it's 21 days after that. But West Palm Beach, R11 crossings, will be done before that date because they're starting from 15th Street and moving south. So when, when things will officially be quiet after that 21 days, so it'll be done and then certified, so the and March 20th. Palm Beach County, across the county, throughout the whole county, it'll be quiet after May or April 17th. Could you move forward if your crossings are in the city are completed before March 26th? Could you then file the paperwork and start that 21 We can. Now? So we, would you, would you, and that's our plan. Once the 11 are done in West Palm Beach, we will immediately file our paperwork. And since they're moving from north to south, that should be done before the March 26th date because they have all the other ones in the south to do it. Who, who is everybody here? Does These are folks from the neighborhood. We have Rick Rose from Grandview Heights. Um, we have Mary Mercer Mer from South Tower. And we have Michael Cuevas from the Downtown Neighborhood Association. They've been very active in negotiating with and talking to Brightline about their concerns in their neighborhood. And I'm sure they'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Sure. With them. Overall, I mean, is it? Are, how do you feel that you had to had to have this conversation today when the, the media events tomorrow and then open to the public the next day. How do you feel about the timing of all this? Well, I, I wish we didn't have to have this conversation. I wish the, the quiet zones were done and ready. I will not be at the media event. Um, I have told them I'm very disappointed that they're starting, um, starting their service before the quiet zones. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Um, I can't stop them from doing their service. Uh, we did ask them if they would decrease the number of trains. They don't feel like they can do that. Um, so I will not be at the meeting. You're not going because you're frustrated with the way the process is going? Because I, I think that um, they need to know that I and the community um, feel like they haven't lived up to their, their bargain. It's also part of the frustration they've said, hey, this is the, they've given dates all along, this is when it's going to start, it keeps getting pushed back, pushed back, pushed back. Is there any doubt that that March 26th and then April 17th is going to be hit? Well, that's why we're requiring reports every 15 days, and uh, we will be watching it, watching it very carefully. But what happens if they don't give you the report? Well, that's something we'll have to assess if that happens. And we're limited in what we can do, but we'll have to look at everything. And then just kind of taking a step back, the quiet zones, this is just to make sure all the features are up and everything's running properly, safety-wise. Safety. You know, the bottom line, and all of us here and Brightline, we agree, bottom line, it has to be safe. And we don't want trains coming through here um, and not blowing their horns when it's not 100% safe, that there won't be cars on the tracks, there won't be people on the tracks. It's all about safety. And Brightline, that's, it's, that's their number one concern as well.